Hey, it's Samantha Mo here, certified parent coach and founder of the Mad to Glad Blueprint. Today, I want to ask you a question. Are you a defiant parent? Now, so many times I'm talking to parents about how their kids are defiant, and just yesterday I was talking to a couple, and the mother said, you know, what I realized through going through your program is that all this time I've been thinking my child is the defiant one in the relationship, and she said, but with the strategies we've learned about staying calm and not matching fire with fire or feeding intensity, I found that that's actually been really challenging for me because I internally am defiant. When my child shows a challenging behavior, this, uh, this need inside of me kicks in where I go, oh yeah, I'll show you what to do. And so she noticed that she was getting stuck in this endless battle because not only was her child being defiant, but she was being defiant in return. And so the reason that I bring this up is because she mentioned something wonderful, which was when she understood to not engage in her child's defiant behaviors, it's like this whole new world opened up to her where she had space to be more creative in how she responded to her child. And she noticed that she was more tolerant and patient because she understood what was going on underneath the defiance. She was able to see her child from another perspective. And I want to tie this story with something that happened with me recently. I went down to Florida to my parents' winter down there because we're in cold Minnesota right now. And I was talking to my dad about how he chose to raise myself and my four siblings. And he had a really interesting response. See, as we were teenagers, I was a very harmonious and pleasing child. So when it came to dating and curfews and all of that, it was no problem. They could, he could give me an instruction and I would follow it without trying to defy it or disobey. But I had one sister who was a very strong-willed child, a very tough cookie, he said, and she would not obey curfew and she would, uh, they would find out that she'd be out on dates that she didn't have permission to be on and she'd always seek the guys who weren't very good for her. So like the BMX bikers, uh, <laughs> my dad had said. And he told me that one day he sat down with her, she was about 15 years old, and he said, I will fight you on this topic as long as you're living in my home because I care about you that much. And it got me thinking. My dad is a very strong-willed personality, and I thought, huh, I wonder why other parents what might fight their kids or they, they parent in a way where their defiance is going to be as strong or stronger than their child's. And I got to thinking, I wonder if the end justifies the means with our strong-willed kids. Now, if you had a parent who was defiant and more authoritarian and that worked really well for you, you might feel like, yep, the end justifies the means because I'm still in good relationship with my parent and I was parented this way. However, there are some of you who had a more strong-willed parenting uh, style as you were growing up, and you might not be in good relationship with your parent. And some of the reasons for that is because that parenting style can be controversial because it can create a retaliation response in your child's brain where a strong-willed child will obey their strong-willed parent if the force is great enough, but it creates this tension and this conflict and this stress in the brain and in the relationship that promotes a personality of retaliation and fighting and it actually prohibits the part of the relationship where you develop a sense of safety and trust and peacefulness between one another because this fighting dynamic become, becomes very strong. And so I just wanted to give you that food for thought today because if you are a defiant parent and things are going well for you and your child, then it seems like it's working for you. You can, you can have at it. But if you're worried that your parenting style is 
is creating stress in the home because of how you're responding to your child. You're seeing that they're not getting calmer. You're feeling that it's not enjoyable to be around them because of this conflict. Then you may want some cutting edge parenting strategies that I've that I've talked about on my blog page so that you can create a new plan and have some new results with your child. The the primary benefit of this is that when you can find ways of connecting with your strong-willed child that are more peaceful is it will create a relationship that has more ease and flow so that as your child grows older and moves out of the house, he'll actually want to continue being in relationship with you because you've created this more positive family dynamic. So if you're interested in more of those articles, go over to my blog right now at brighteningconnections.com slash blog where you can get some free information or if you want to talk more about your parenting strategy and see how you could create a new plan for parenting at home, then go ahead and contact me also through my website. Apply for a free consultation. I'd be happy to talk with you about your parenting style and what you're looking for in the long run. Until next time, have a wonderful day. I'll catch you later.